Greetings, I'm Benson. Welcome to join us for the um, SolarWind Network Performing Monitor product overview. So I would like to start um, the um, sections with the define for this uh, network performance uh, monitoring and diagnostic MPMD market solution first. Um, this type of a solution um, is for the IT ops um, in the support for today complex IT environment for advanced technology and services um, that um, from the monitoring the modern um, enterprise or huge uh, network usually we need some form of a total network visibility uh, from end to end um, from network from server from application performance um, to detect for the performance issue and to understanding for the root cause analysis. And then from this um, MPMD market, um, it is um, start, you will notice that you were overlapping on the um, MPM, we call the application performing monitor, into this type of the solution offering as well. Okay, this is by the way, is um, one step short on the technical uh, not a network operation center that um, usually um, it depends on the Deployment cases for some will be deployed to managing 100,000 over of the IT equipment or where well, it will be of um, independent if a telco usually you will be concentrated on like the MD we call it the network element um, or for data center for what is between the network uh, data center in terms of um, you can form the call other switches the link to the ISP link and then the server or those um, call um, equipment for your customer and then to drill down into the server uh, mission critical services that running inside and then to the um, specific mission critical applications such as uh, you have a SAP uh, kind of a business in line application that you want to monitor in detail or it can be also widely deployed for like the wireless network um, it is common now um, as well as for the um, slightly modification for certain different industry but usually in overall uh, we call this type of solution is for MPMD. SolarWind um, is a company now, now as we all know that because the company need to stand for what the business they are doing so then in the SolarWind yes they have a one main flagship product to cover for the uh, MPMD solution where it is to cover in terms of like for monitoring for your network element before it can be for fault, availability, performance, uh, for analyst with the add-on on the flow analyzer and then for packet analyst in a single solution offering. We will also talk about uh, wireless monitoring and then the capacity planning and the automatic detections of the dependency and geolocation tracking, especially the see on the mapping uh, portion on the sections. We continue in the key feature sets of the SolarWind MPM. Um, we start with a high level first, then subsequently we will continue in uh, each of the um, point in the each perspective slide accordingly. First, you ask me, of course, is about the multi vendor network monitoring software for fault performance and availability monitoring. Uh, why say so? Um, a lot of the company want to avoid single vendor login, right? This solution is completely neutral and multi vendor friendly um, to uh, that kind of a scenario. Um, you can be customizable the network technology and dependency of it intelligent alert. So to respond to multiple condition check because no all the customer um, will want to monitor the equipment in the same way. It will depend on your own scenario, your own internet SLA, or your MSP, depend on what you commit to your customer. And you can set it accordingly. And then accordingly event network topology and demand dependencies. And then of course we are talking about one thing is quite unique here, is about the automate capacity forecast editing and reporting. Um, he can be automatically calculate the date using the customization based on the peak and average usage. From the graph later on I will show you, you will notice how this capacity uh, forecasting will help you to make 
the data visual and easy to be explained to a user group we are talking about. Uh, dynamic network match so that you can automate match divide and display performance metrics and link connection and utilizations. Um, at the same time, we talk about the end user quality of experience with the packet captures and analysts to determine if change in end user experience and caused by application or the network. So, and the consultant and the service fee requirement, install and deploy as per label network monitoring software is as little as power with out of the box monitoring and reporting. This is what I think in the early benefit we are talking about. Out of the box installed with the visa and template you are doing for most of the case, and that is for the large and the complex of multi MS integration type of the work. Eh? And of course, a wireless network monitoring and management to retrieve the performance metrics for um, all kinds of your access points, supported one, and then the wireless control and client. So he will give you a single panel of class beside the physical network, the server, wireless, um, later on we are talking about the virtualization network, uh, storage and so on. Right? So automate network divine discover. So um, you can make scaling to automate discover of SMP and Wi-Fi network network be one. That save your time, right? So because you can schedule to that at midnight or off the hour, when in the next day you come back, the scan is finished, you can continue your job, right? A wireless heatmap, because we talk about wireless, of course that we are create a visual wireless signal strength along with the location of our connected client because wireless we cannot see when right? we need the heatmap to visualizing um, the signal and so on. Even more feature sets um, on the uh, solid and PM, so I just pick a few to talk in here. Of course, we talk about the customizable single pane of class network monitoring software. So um, it's just simply drag and drop in the interface, customize web based network performance dashboard, view and chart. You can fully customize, let's say, each of the different users have a different look and feel on, on the dashboard. The network route monitoring, we're talking about um, monitoring and error on large to complex network route, include support for the major routing protocol. This is, I think, is very important feature, especially for those with telco on um, highly complicated multi router and routing environment. You definitely were interested to uh, have a more detail and looking for those uh, route and the link interface, all those things uh, that it can be provide visibility for you. And of course, we talk about the dynamic statistic network performance baseline. Uh, you dynamically calculate the baseline threshold from your history um, network performance data with the expert table network monitoring software. So you can do it your baseline, um, then you can determine whether from a history record and tell me how this, let's say, specific network one is performed. Right? So, and then of course, we talk about the hardware uh, health monitoring. Monitoring, edit, and report on key UI metrics include temperatures, fan speed, and power supply. Uh, why so? You can see, especially let's say for certain UI, uh, we know it is a sensitive for temperatures. If you know already that let's say that the temperature increase few uh, Celsius, then yes, the UI is no doubt, but you can probably trigger all those edit to have someone to look into the reason why the temperature is increased. This is particular so for the data center environment. Uh, fan speed slow down or cause heat again. And then if they say that the two double redundant uh, power supply is one down, one is running, then no need to wait for both is down. Based on one down power supply, even the device is not down, yet you can be based on figure the edit to call it for the vendor to repaint or sort the power supply. So we call it for proactive monitoring, right? So um, one more feature here, like custom MIB product and device studio to easily create a custom product to monitor the network performance and see visually any uh, statistic available on any SMP and network device. Right? So uh, let's go on to the 
because we have a top mode uh, ATL on the particular slide here. So customer performance and availability report. Um, out of the block, we have 100 over uh, template for you to choose from, right? So it saves no time because it's just what you need to know about. Uh, this is the server, this is what kind of area you're concerned, right? Depending on that, save time. So drug and discover network performance chart, um, real-time network performance metrics with interactive chart and graph from your network device. Flexible multi-vendor support, um, as just mentioned earlier, this is managed network performance with out-of-the-box support form, device form. Um, almost I would say that um, as far as concerned, the, they have the vendor, they have the SNMP, MIB device, um, most of the thing, even the bursary, um, they have the PIN, you can, you can still monitor by PIN, right? Almost it's this why I so called flexible multi vendor support. Um, one more unique thing is about the Microsoft System Center Operation Manager, or we call it SCOM integration. Yes, you can integrate this um, MPM into the Microsoft um, SCOM. Because this particular will be interest by those in the window houses to have a complete end-to-end uh, -end, uh, monitoring in specifically based on the Microsoft uh, perspective and the best practice and quality, right? So Microsoft Active Directory integration, so you can leverage um, your existing Microsoft uh, AD. Uh, user account information and group for your network performance monitor login and permission. So you don't need to think again uh, what user ID and password. Just leverage what the company already set, right? And use accordingly. One of the common last thing usually is related to how far um, I can done in terms of my mapping to uh, make my reporting or visually uh, give us to know that which area I should look into or how far customized the mapping can be done. Huh? So uh, like this one is one of the technical uh, that's what we will talk about this part of mapping here. So like, like here is are some typical uh, way. Um, it depends. Well, if you want precise your location Mapping, uh, yes, you can use the um, OpenStreetMap and then you put in your exact location into the map and like this one is after it will be open into the worldwide map it will show you exactly where it is, right? And you can do it now according because it's a real life uh, mapping, right? So, but for some customer, um, you don't want to do something like only have the, the okay, like this one is a United States map. Uh, this is the region map, right? Uh, some you may thinking about uh, I have some custom mapping on diagram. Well, the easy way to do so is just you drawing it, make it become a background into the neighbor element you monitor. It. Like for example, it's just an example. Uh, this is a spaceship, right? Most of the customer usually will monitor the like the floor plan, location, office, layout, where is the thing is, and so on. Eh? So this is how flexible the thing can be doing, and then you can draw those live link, especially usually for the network uh, home in front. Usually the main thing you want to see immediately usually is a home router and a home link, whether it is up or down. Right, the link change the color. So, uh, uh, thank you for joining us for the sections. Um, if you still have um, more information that um, you require and we have yet to cover, feel free to surf our website at www.e-spin.com. Um, we will be um, able to pick up from there. Or you have a real cases um, since that um, you are a bit unconcerned on the project on your existing operation requirement, uh, feel free to contact us. So we should be able to get you help and to consult or discuss based on your requirement. And then I will pick up the work from there. Right, thank you.